really excited about this new FSB 10. I spend most of my time hiking around the mountains and it's important for me to have a lightweight system to get me there. It has a payload of 26 and a half pounds, which is a pretty big camera you can put on it. And you can get it all the way down to like a two pound camera. A unique opportunity for the buyer is you can buy the head with either a side loading base plate that has a long track for counterbalance or a touch and go for a really quick engagement with the camera with a separate sliding plate for your balance. It's got a nice flat surface so when you take it off the tripod legs you can mount it to other things like sliders or jib arms or wherever you want to put a camera but still have the fluid head movement of it. Oh, I love that solid sound of a sockler snapping in there. The first sockler I ever bought was the, uh, the FSB-8. What made me choose that tripod and head was the cold temperatures it was able to operate in. Their heads go to 40 below. So that means at 40 below, you're still going to be able to move your tripod real fluid. The 100 mil ball allows you to set your tripod up and level it out in an uneven surface area so much quicker. It's important to have a tripod head that can handle slight, subtle moves. The FSB-10 really has a nice feel between the pan and tilt working simultaneously together. Some really cool moments right here. I should probably try some super slow motion through these sparkles. Big advantage that the Sockler FSB-10 has like over its competitors is the range of drag settings, both for pan and tilt, it has five settings, and counterbalance. Counterbalance has 10 settings. When I first started shooting uh, years ago, the cameramen that I looked up to all were using socklers. And I didn't really know why at first until I started you know, playing with their tripods a little bit. When you put your camera on a sockler, it is just smooth as silk. 